This is Workspaces and People, season two from Amsterdam. We are meeting B Building um, now. They call themselves the biggest ecosystem starting hub in Europe. So we're very excited. It's co-working. Um, it's for creative, for corporates, um, learning, building, creating. So we, yeah, we kind of excited what to expect. Let's see. So the first thing we did was take out all the walls in between. This is where the musical heart of Amsterdam is sticking. That's this place and we're a part of that. The more free you are to move around, the more creative you get. Workspaces and People Season 2 here on YouTube. This was the old IBM building, so oh, it's... Oh, right, I heard that. And right, in, right, the right. Dish, uh, in the halls mm -hmm. behind it, they used to make the old typewriters. Yeah. Uh, and they left it 16 years ago, and then it was empty for 11 years. Wow. And when we came, like, everything was stripped, so we only had, like, the concrete, uh, no water, no electricity, and we started on the second floor, um, with one office, one conference room, and a couple of desks, and we took out old furniture of a school that was demolished, yeah. um, and we built it up. Uh, we started like with 350k, yeah. uh, and we grew to three buildings now. So now it's 40,000 square meters. We're opening a smart city hub, which is 24,000 square meters. Yeah. Quickly fill our uh, subscribers in what where we are. What this is, you call you call um, B, B, B uh, we, or B we, building the biggest co-working startup ecosystem, hub in, ecosystem in, in Europe. In Europe, um, yeah. So so in Amsterdam, B building. This well, we want to call it B, but then you Google it, and then it's hard to have like yeah. one letter. Uh, so we put the payoff. Uh, behind it, building business. Mm -hmm. But in Amsterdam, we'll be Amsterdam, and mm -hmm. in another city, we'll be, be New York or be Berlin, uh, for instance. Uh, and we do much more. So everything with a B. So we have a restaurant upstairs, bureau. Uh, we have a startup school, yeah. and we train 600 youth unemployed kids to become coders, growth hackers, and content creators. We got 95% of them in a, in a well paid job. Uh, which is BSSA, uh, and now working on a digital platform which is called BOS, a building operating system. So, a lot of bees. A lot of uh, bees. Um, yeah, a lot of things. Wow, what was your initial, like, I mean, you didn't, what was the idea? Like, I mean, it developed? From, from the start, we always see ourselves as a platform for growth. So we wanted to be a place where people grow, f companies grow faster, people grow faster than anywhere in the world. And that's always been our starting point. So it was never, we have this building of 18,000 square meters and we have to fill it up as fast as possible. But it was, we want to be proud of the people that we're more proud of when people grow. And now it's our rent department more and more playing like Tetris. Uh, because people are growing and then they have to move to a bigger office yeah. and then from 20 to 100 to 700 square meters and that's what yeah that's what makes us proud of and I think what differentiates us from the rest and everything we do is in line with growth so we the students we help to grow but it's also the lack of talent for companies mm -hmm. was holding the growth back of companies and now we're adding more and more talent to the ecosystem, mm -hmm. which is also a process because you can learn people to go to in three months, but then they're still not really good. <laughs> so you need some uh, like time to work before you really start up ready. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, wow, okay, so a lot of growing here. A lot um, of growing. Yeah, let, let's, um, so let's, what's a good idea to just walk yeah, around? Yeah, we can and walk see. around. So what was, what was your idea about, I mean, you just said you wanted to create a place where people can grow. Yeah. But then growing in terms of? Well, they're, they're company, but also. Learning or growing in terms of numbers or growing in terms of well, it's, it's developing? as having a place where companies could have grow as fast as possible mm -hmm. uh, and adding like 
This is our gym. Mm -hmm. Can we walk in? Yeah. So the idea was to build a city within uh, a building so that you can do anything that you need within the building. So one of the things is uh, being fit. So there's, like health is an important thing. So every day from five to eight, there are a lot of lessons. And in the in early morning, they're doing like uh, boxing classes, yoga, everything. So people are coming here that work here and they come before or after or in between to work out? Yeah, right? it's mostly before or after. Mm -hmm. We tried it in between, but people tend people not to be sweaty. To smell, so. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really nice. No. Because we want to be an ecosystem where uh, with a lot of movement, mm -hmm. So we're doing around 700 events a year uh, and we have a lot of event spaces. So this can be turned into like conferences. Um, we have speakers. I love that you have the old, old Travi. It was one of the first thing that we bought and we literally didn't have any like budget. So yeah. we were like, oh, we need something to like be our thing. How our did you start? Bonds. Did you? From the beginning on, start with investors, or did you like? We start with uh, we start with three of us: Chris Mellendijk, mm -hmm. Bas van Vechel, and and I. Um, and um, Bas van Vechel is coming from a real estate uh, right. family, and he did like the first investment, yeah. uh, really to come to an MVP. Yeah. Um, but that was like first show what we can do, and it was like 350k. Yeah. yeah. Um, but to put water in and to put like electricity, electricity yeah, and, and things, it, yeah. it goes really, really fast. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, so we, we really hustled our way, so. Yeah. And you expanding to other countries or is that an idea or? We've been uh, working on New York for quite some time, mm -hmm. uh, but it's also with a whole new way of working and, and like so many reworks, so we really have to differ it ourselves mm -hmm. so we're really now working on the product more and, and focus on the digital platform more mm -hmm. and then have a rollout because otherwise what differentiates us from a WeWork or Spaces or Notel or any of that. Mm -hmm. So we're doing more want to make it more scalable so mm -hmm. that it's really like a tool for growth mm -hmm. um, and that needs some uh, extra attention but mm -hmm. soon we'll be ready to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. What is, uh, what is it that makes you proud mostly? I think... Um, what are you most proud of? We have days when we have like major events going on and then um, on the restaurant there are things that we have like sometimes on every floor something's going um, which is like a madhouse but that's how we intended it to be mm -hmm. we had a day that we have a party on the on the rooftop and we had a table tennis tournament on the fourth and then we had a big conference on the ground floor when when everything is going on that's where you feel like the energy of B and some people are like what is this? Be like a beehive. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this is where, where it started. So it's later on the day, or in the day. So this is literally the first office that we ever built. Mm -hmm. And our first tenant had to move in here because they were kicked out of their old building. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have any warming yet. And it was in the middle of the winter. Mm -hmm. uh, but they Which is usually working. 20 degrees in Amsterdam and almost no, no rain. <laughs> not really. So, um, yeah, this is where it started, but it's also now five years old, so it needs like a rework. It's Here? also, yeah. yeah area. So we're changing stuff. It's really quiet right now. Is that because it's quite late already? or? Yeah. yeah. Um, or is it because you you renovate it, like your no 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 it's it's normal. because it's late because we yeah. we have like full um, occupancy but now it's not an event going on and it is like a co work space where we rinse out the desks.
And it's here where we also started working with our team. So yeah. at first we didn't have an office ourselves. And every time we thought, okay, now we're going to build an office for ourselves. And then somebody else came and we were and like, okay, it. yeah. yeah. Uh, but in the end, we took up like half of the whole space and we thought, okay, now we have too many people here. So yeah. let's move into a real office. Where's your office? Is it still here? Yeah, it's or? now, I don't know if there's somebody. So these, these are co-working spaces for yeah. then creatives, and then there's also little cabinets for companies. Uh, companies of four. Rent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is our own team office, and because we just moved here, yeah, it's you can see it, but normally it's like one chaotic mess. <laughs> How was, many people are working for? Be in the office on, on the let's call uh, it field. Here, uh, I think 45 something. Mm -hmm. uh, um, normally, with Christmas, when you give out the gift, uh, Christmas presents, you go like, do we really have that many people? Um, but with FB and facilities, and we have around 125 yeah. people working for us. Yeah. And it's funny because the last couple of years have been to other places like this. So I've been to CIC in Boston and the factory in Berlin. Mm -hmm. and, um, and what you see is that their own office is always like the messiest. <laughs> <laughs> Here's um, a Star Bootcamp, which is now one of the biggest accelerator programs mm -hmm. in the world. And they have their own space. So mm -hmm. It's like all their startups, uh, which are starting. I think they just started the program. Mm -hmm. Um, that we really built this thing based on trust. Mm -hmm. We have a really open culture. Mm -hmm. um, I think everybody trusts each other, so that's good. So, how many, um, how many um, single, like um, single people are working here? How many freelancers or anything? And then corporates, and then, like, is there? Mm, I think we have around. 150 people, mm -hmm. like single tenants. Nice. Gonna... It's Thursday evening, still going out Thursday evening. Yeah, it's yeah. it's. But we're doing really well. So there's a lot of drinks and things going on, and here's our restaurant. Um, but also, so this is like more upscale. We're doing mm -hmm. a. Uh, a lot of lunch, lunches downstairs, which mm -hmm. is this like buffet style, mm -hmm. uh, and this is like a la carte. Um, was that from the beginning on that you wanted to implement the food and also the like easy food? Let's call it easy food downstairs yeah. and the. No, we really started with a communal lunch because we thought it was really necessary because we want to have interaction between the the, the people within mm -hmm. the building. Um, so when we started, I think our lunch was like three euros a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the end, we, we believe that a lot of communities and ecosystems could also be built in a digital form. And it really doesn't matter if you're in which building you are. Mm -hmm. That's what we hope to uh, get to. Yeah. So it's more a platform than building physical spaces, because what you talked about our American friends uh, if you open a lot of spaces, it's hard to keep the community. Yeah. It will become more and more product. So if you look at some big brands or big like, uh, uh, co-work co -work, uh, places, yeah. it tends to be all the same. Yeah. And you want to be unique and you want to have like a sort of energy, yeah. which we've done with a lot of curation. So we send a lot of no to people uh, and companies yeah. and really get the right mix into okay. the building. So we have two more buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like close by. Yeah. Uh, it has a bit of a different vibe, but. Yeah. It's about, it's more or less the same, right? Then? Well, the, the, the idea is the same. The buildings are different, but mm -hmm. we trying to bring the vibe. Through the, the vibe digital, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but also with our community managers. Yeah, so and, yeah. Uh, large team. Yeah. What are the most important roles? In our team, mm -hmm. um, well, event, 
We have a big event here. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We have um, with quite a big events team, yeah. but they're doing also a lot of each events, but it brings in like every time fresh blood uh, into the building. So we have a lot of corporate events, innovation events, speakers. We had like Eric Rees, but also uh, big Microsoft events, big IBM events, uh, PwC. Um, so that's an important one, our rent uh, department which is important because we have a lot of requests going on. Um, we, we're getting more and more. Like, um, so when, now when we have you, like yeah, an insight manager. Okay, what is it? Well, it's, it's, we're trying to break the code, what it is which makes us unique. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're collecting a lot of data and doing MPS and doing like censoring and and what makes you unique? What's your what is your out. what is your gut feeling? No, I think it's it's from the from the start that it's really based on the mix of people. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the the first thing that we said was 50-50 men, women, because mm -hmm. that's something that's normal and that's something like should be em emphasized. But also uh, that's something that should be forgotten. Mm -hmm. So with the curation, we did a lot of that. Um, and then a mix of people. Like we all always want dreamers and innovators and people that want to change the world, make impact, world domination, that kind of stuff. Sounds good. Where do you go to escape the craziness here? Home. Home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's like I, it's not, not so much craziness. I, I can be here. Do you sleep here sometimes? No. No. No, Did I you think, ever think about you know connecting a hotel or bedrooms or oh something? Oh yeah, we, like we that? have like tons of plans left. So we working on a, a housing project, be mm -hmm. at home, where mm -hmm. we want to like light living for tech talent, mm -hmm. where you just can come in, rent furniture, share a bike, share a car, pretty much everything you need. When are you gonna start building houses then, like beds and uh, hotels? We, we wanted to do it for two years now, so hopefully somewhere this year we can... You get started. started. Would you start here? Because this is like where it's starting, where you... Yeah, well it's always been the dream to start here and it, it's, it's, it's your hometown, it's you have like, you know everybody, you know um, the contractors, you know. The developer, so yeah, it's it's the easiest. Yeah, it's good. So people, is there? Is, are people leaving the spaces here? Like for when is the busyness? When when is it busy here? Because busy uh, yeah, during the daytime, and so it's it's like mostly. Around. Is it working hours or is it more like really you know, 24 hours, hours in a way? No, we were closing like between 12 and 7. We're really just completely closed. When you have events or something? Or Sometimes we have hackathons that go on like 24 or 48 hours and then people are sleeping here. Um, now I got one meeting left because uh, our startup school, our coding class are doing their final uh, presentations. Okay. So that's where I'm going and then 730 do you it's done. Like do you teach? Who no, teaches? Like is there no, there's no, teachers? No, or teachers. Do you invite people to teach or is there We have schools yeah. that um, we work with schools. So we worked with Hyper Island from Stockholm but Little yeah. Little from Paris and New York Coding from New York. Yeah. Um, Talent Institute from like the third floor here, um, and now I think this class is with New York Coding. So with New York Coding, so okay. they have like an American teacher here doing the coding classes. But is that only like is it only like fixed a fixed day or fixed week or is it like? No, we're doing like three months courses. Okay, three months courses. So it's like really school here, and we we. Have, 
we're doing like sometimes like five classes at once, so it's really busy with flooded with students, almost like a university. Right? Yeah, then we have like 100, 120 students, but it blends in, so it gives a good dy but dynamic. So it's fun. Well, thank you so much. Thank Ricardo, you for coming. For making some time. Um, uh, we'll see more B buildings yeah, in the definitely. future. In Hamburg or Berlin, what, what would be your first German city you would go to? Berlin is like... When we started uh, B, and the, and the first thing that we did was go to Berlin. Mm -hmm. uh, that was like five, five and a half years ago. Uh, and we went to Beta House because that was like, uh, hands down, The, uh, I think the, 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 the true example for co-working uh, at that time and yeah, it, it had so much energy I think it was like far behind uh, ahead of, of things that's what you want to achieve yeah and then now you looked at it and you're like this is small this is small yeah but it's cool it's there they were the first they for me they were the, one of the first and they Where the inspiration. I think you see a lot of beta house elements here. Mm -hmm. um, so no, they, they were the true pioneers. Yeah. I think okay, Berlin was the true pioneers. I think you're pioneering by you know, um, well by the size, for sure. I think um, by we bringing in so many elements also yeah. in terms of. Um, community creating it feels like almost because you can do so many things you don't even need to leave the space I mean you need to leave the space for sleep but that's what you want yeah um, and for the rest you can yeah you can do breakfast you can do lunch you can do sports if you want to have like start your company we have legal services we have designers web developers Yeah, you can do pretty much everything within the building. Mm -hmm. What do you do, last question, to, besides the food and restaurant, bringing people together by food, you bring people together by events? Yeah. How do you bring your community together? By the digital platform? By drinks, by platform, by doing like internal events. Um, in a couple of weeks we're starting with a service desk so you see a lot of services that you need which big companies have like an IT department and but till 40 or 60 people it doesn't make sense to have an IT department so we're going to do an IT help desk and, and create some sort of a genius bar where you can ask your questions in your whole growth phase like a, almost like a concierge Well, this one we just stole from like the Airbnbs and the Googles in, in San Francisco where you go and you fix your laptop or you have questions. Okay. And, oh, you mean more like an IT yeah. genius thing? Yeah, okay. Uh, but also where you can talk to a lawyer like on a couple of hours a week for your legal questions. And yeah. then we keep adding stuff. Um, yeah, we're doing events. Uh, or like we have a startup run where you have to run for 10 kilometers. Uh, we have our Christmas event, so, and we have our community manager, managers that help make the connections between the people. So that's what we do. We're now trying to put it into a digital platform and hopefully we can be in any building in the world without having to, be, to put a B on it, because every big empire has fallen because that's grown too big. Yes, I'm curious how that's going, like with the, because I do, in a way, I do believe that there's so many, um, that's my very personal point of view, there's so much um, digital going on that people are kind of craving for the real relationships. Um, It's true, but you, you can use digital elements to make those connections. Uh, and I think, I think everybody's predicting that um, shared office will grow from 2.5% to around 30% or even 70%. So a lot of big corporates will change their buildings into a more shared open space, which is now already happening. <clears throat> 
and then you need the tools to do so. Um, I think if you move your your corporate company into a, a more shared office or co work space, it doesn't change your culture, it doesn't change the way you no. work together, it no. changes the scenery. Yeah. Um, and we want to change the culture and change the way you work together. You change it on the inside and not on the Don't change the scenery. Because yeah. when you have, if we would have like 500 bees, I would be busy with keeping my attendance uh, rate up, um, make sure that nobody dies in my buildings, uh, make sure that it's clean, that people open it uh, and close it, and that everything is still there in the morning. Because the bigger the numbers, if you reach us as like 14,000 locations, um, then that's already a lot of work just to keep it going. Uh, and if you're focused on keep it going, you're not focusing on building a community or building extra services, because how do you implement something on 14,000 locations? That's like a military operation. That is a very good question, which leads me to my next question. Are you ever gonna stop growing? Or is this like... For now, no. What's the idea? Well, if we can grow with a digital platform, we can be... Um, so the next step is that with POS, we, we start in Amsterdam, but then we do simultaneously Southeast Asia and New York. Because mm -hmm. why being only Uber if you can also be Grab and Gojek and... and uh, oh. Um, go in different uh, different markets and make it localized. Um, no, I think that's the big growth. And we, the dream was always to have hubs all around the world. Um, so that's what we want to do, and then see where we we go. But it's what are the challenges with New York? You've mentioned that before that you haven't really. Uh, the challenges is that everything is so expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, so and. If you, the culture is really different. Mm -hmm. So we've been working on a big, big building, 14,000 square meters, and we, we were um, we had to do the build out. Uh, and when we started, we did the first napkin calculation, which was like totally naive and, and stupid. We thought we can do it for 12 million, and like. Two months later, it was 24 million, and we go like, oh yeah, we can make this work. And then it was 36 million, and we still thought, uh, oh, it's getting harder, but we can make it work. And then I thought I nailed it down with the whole budget and everything on 42 million, and then two months later, it was like 49 million, and we were like, okay, this is like, this has no end. So we'll still working more on the product side in uh, in New York and we'll be back because now it's personal, the city versus me. Um, but it's, yeah, you, ha you have to come prepared. It's the Champions League. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll make it. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you created this, so. No, it, it's like, like I said, it's you're you're playing the Champions League, and I, I hate to lose, and I don't see it as you're only losing if you're giving up. So we're not giving up. We'll be back. World domination. I think that's a good goal. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ricardo. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>